Hello everybody, my name is Jan Willem Meijer from the Netherlands and George Paris from CMM asked me to do a short video update about the passing away of my dear friend Hank and the funeral we had and the uh, yeah, wonderful uh, meeting we had with, uh, with George. It was so wonderful to have you here to get to know you. Well, starting with Hank. Hank was uh, really one of the best friends I ever had. He was a true man of God, a giant of the faith. He had uh, spiritual giftings. He was really bold to use, but in the first place to me, he was uh, really a good, good friend. We had contact almost every day about various topics. Uh, Hank uh, phoned me a lot. Uh, we um, often had contact. Sometimes it was a bit uh, much for me, but uh, whenever I wanted to uh, to contact, to to call or uh, to meet, he always had time for me. And I'm so thankful to ha have had a friend like that, uh, standing together in the uh, the struggles of life. And we could share so much about the faith, about the prophetic. Hank was so proud that he was a member of a CMM and connected to Morningstar. We shared so much about uh, the final quest and uh, yeah, the, the, the prophetic. It was, yeah, I'm really going to miss a, a true friend. Hank was also a, uh, a big man of God. He was a big guy and he was uh, big in the faith. He, he knew his God and I've never and all, never seen him doubt. Uh, and also other friends said we never saw Hank doubt. He was passionate uh, in his fire for God, in his um, faith in God and in his faith in his calling. And his, his, his motto was just go for it. And Hank was a guy, he always just went for it. One of a kind, uh, full of power, full of strength. In his uh, context, he always just went for it. Sometimes people thought it too intense, uh, but it was Hank. He was a, a, a man of dynamite. And yeah, he went away like that. He uh, passed away in the night of uh, New Year um, as a casualty of a, a fireworks incident. It was uh, really too bad. Uh, he was not too old, 54, leaves behind a beautiful wife and uh, two uh, sons. Um, but yeah, we think it, it was his time. Uh, life wasn't uh, easy for him. He had been addicted to, uh, to drugs for 12 years and yeah, suffered a little from that. And also other things weren't too easy for him. He fought the good fight and he was faithful. And we are so honored to um, yeah, have uh, him as a friend and also uh, be able to carry a bit of his legacy uh, further. And the first thing which comes to my mind, if it's about the legacy of Hank, then it's about the main topic Hank was uh, talking about, and that's called uh, relational discipleship. Hank wrote a, a little booklet about this uh, topic together with Molong Nakao from the Philippines. Uh, the, the title of the booklet is Relational Discipleship. If you're interested, please uh, yeah, send me, uh, for instance, uh, a message on, on Facebook and I can send you a um, PDF. It's in English available as well as in Dutch. And this is about relational discipleship. Hank's thought was that relational discipleship is the future of the church. People can grow through uh, relations. And it's not enough is when people just come to Christ, but they have to become disciples. And when I read this booklet again, then it, it's really clear to me that I learned a whole lot from Hank, also in my own thinking about this topic. He uh, describes how he uh, developed this way of thinking also during his time on the beautiful island of Curaçao, which is a, a tropical part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. He lived there for a couple of years. Here you see my friends uh, together with, uh, with some guys playing checkers. 
uh, under the tree as it is the culture on the island and that was his way of getting to know people uh, getting in, in contact of people in the beginning he was just like an evangelist telling uh, people to Christ uh, baptizing people and uh, later on he described it in the booklet that he developed this uh, mindset that uh, people have to become a disciple a disciple of Christ and less could make him more enthusiastic than see that people really wanted to become a disciple and a scholar of, of Christ uh, doing the works Christ did uh, healing the sick uh, bringing the, the gospel of the kingdom um, uh, taking care of the of the needy of the broken and um, uh, prophesying there was also one of uh, the gifts Hank was known for he had a strong uh, prophetic insights never um, came short of, of uh, prophetic insights and he loved to uh, declare prophetic destiny over uh, people and uh, yeah, Hank started a, a couple of uh, projects and foundations himself for instance the, the Christian rehab center where I am privileged to work for but he also laid a prophetic and apostolic foundation for many others to build their apostolic um, yeah, kingdom dreams upon and Hank I honor you for that well, uh, it was also really nice to uh, to meet George Parrott. It was such an honor um, for us as friends and for the family that he, he came to the funeral all the way from the States. George, it was wonderful to, uh, to have you and to meet you. And we are really looking forward to, to stay in contact. The, the funeral was, uh, was, was great. Uh, we are still getting uh, messages from people who were at the service or... Uh, watch it on uh, live stream it's still on available on youtube by the way many people were so touched by this uh, by this service it was wonderful we rented an old uh, traditional church building where about 500 people and in the beginning was um, yeah like like a disco there was uh, house music and uh, beautiful lights in the church and then we had a service with uh, beautiful uh, music, worship music, but also many witnesses who testified um, how they, yeah, uh, uh, were, were along with Hank, saw him doing the works of Jesus and uh, how he impacted their lives. Um, it was wonderful the, lately, uh, the last uh, recent years, Hank was working in the Roma community Gypsy and Gypsy people here in uh, Enschede, Hengelo, Oldersal, where we live. They actually uh, called him from Curaçao to come back to the Netherlands. And he did it. He saw many people come to Christ. He baptized maybe 200 people. But he was really enthusiastic as they um, yeah, also wanted to pay the price and become disciples and bring the, the message further. And uh, this is what we want to do. So, yeah, we're really honored to, uh, yeah, to keep you posted, CMM. Uh, I know that uh, Hank was really proud to be a member of your family. Thank you for that. Thank you for the support you have been. And, um, yeah, we love to be in contact. God bless you. Bye-bye.